I would normally just segue straight to the markets at this point, and I will. But let's bring in David Barnson, who is a market analyst. But at the same time, David Barnson occasionally expresses an opinion on politics. Forgive me, David, I don't want to spring this on you, but do you think that President Biden is up to the job? You know, Stuart, I was listening to, to Liz's comments. Liz is a friend. I agree with uh, basically everything she said. I think that my feeling on this whole issue is that we knew what we were electing. And, and there was a certain portion of the country that elected him. He doesn't seem to me to still have his fastball. There's almost everything he's doing ideologically I disagree with. I don't believe in growing the size of government. I don't believe in taxing our way to prosperity or to social justice for that matter. I want an opportunity society and I don't think he sees it the same way I do. But at the same time, there is a part of me that just is so sick of it all. That like it was my kid's first day of school yesterday and I enjoyed a, a, a walk in the park this morning and here in New York. And I just like I think so many Americans are tired of all this. And yet it matters. It's real. Yeah. This thing in Afghanistan is an embarrassment. <laughs> but there's a part of me that I just almost kind of want to ignore it for a little while at times. But I'm a yeah, political I'm junkie and it's hard to do. Yeah, and I'm in the news business, so you can't walk away from it. That's the truth. Now, you're our <laughs> yeah. dividend guy and you do great service in that respect. So uh, take me through a couple of the stocks that you like and which pay large and growing dividends. First off, Chevron. Yeah, Chevron, I really want to put out in front of listeners now because the viewers have to understand it's down about four or five bucks from where it was a couple weeks ago. It's up four or five bucks from its low point. And I just don't think you're going to get to buy this five and a half percent dividend yield very much longer. The, the reality is that right now at the current price, the yield is five and a half percent and this stock belongs 20, 30, 40 percent higher. I can't say when. I'm not a short term trader, nor should anyone else try to be with this thing. But Chevron is deeply undervalued and is offering a five and a half percent yield. And they maintained the dividend and grew the dividend over the last couple of years when we've gone through this awful time. Five and a half percent gets my attention. How about 3M? What do you say about them? Yeah, you know, we bought 3M for about $145 in the middle of COVID and it came up over 200 and we liked our timing. This is the longest running dividend grower in the country. This company, which makes scotch tape and other things like that, has been growing the dividend for almost 100 years every single year. And it's come back a little bit here in the last week or so. 3M is just a great leader in consumer, industrial, uh, healthcare type products. And we really like the dividend growth that they offer time and time again. OK, what dividend does it pay right now? If I buy it 193, what, what do I get? Just over 3%, about 3.1 current dividend. OK, but you, it'll hold and go higher. American Electric Power, what do they pay? Uh, they pay about three and a half percent and it's the only utility company we own. They have about 10, 11 states, Texas, Arkansas, Indiana. And uh, look, this infrastructure bill, there's a lot of it I don't like. There's some things I do like, but I do believe it's going to become law. And that's going to require about $70 billion going into the power grid. Uh, this is a regulated utility. It's, a, it's pretty easy money. And utilities are just now kind of finding a little life. They have not been rallying all year. We like American electric power. Well, I really like Chevron at 5.5%. Well, there you go. David, good stuff. Thank you very much, Janine, for joining us today. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.